Hello there, back with another API tutorial for Marketo and using it with Postman here. And today I'm talking about uh, tokens. So you know, if you've been working in Marketo for quite some time, or even just getting started, you'll understand how important tokens are and how efficient uh, they can make your program building and smart campaigns and such. So, uh, but they can even be better because I know um, at least, you know, through, through my work career, I've found that oftentimes they'll get a... Uh, like a list of tokens that you'll still need to manually update um, in the programs themselves, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can use the API for that. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So here we have an event called main event, and this was just cloned. So anytime that something is cloned, you know that you'll get uh, those values that are already in there. So the first thing that we're going to do is we just want to get these into a more workable form uh, and get them into a spreadsheet. So I'm going to come down to Postman. Um, and in here, you'll see I'm using the get tokens by folder ID uh, endpoint. And let me go back so I can actually see what the program is. It's 2395. So I'm just going to put that in here. And then the folder type is program. Um, and if you haven't already watched um, I have another video on how to get that um, bear token. So just make sure that you have that. Uh, go and check that video out if you haven't already. Uh, but since I have that here, I'm just going to run this. And we'll see. Now I have uh, my response. But it's not very workable uh, in this format. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy that whole response. Minimize this. I'm going to a tool that is at data.page slash json slash CSV, that's tough to say. And I'm just going to paste that uh, in here and we'll see it, it will give us something that we can work with better. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. I'm going to come up to Google Sheets and I'm just going to paste these values and split the text to column. And I will get rid of those columns, they're not needed. And those columns aren't needed. Okay, so now, um, so this is going to be the program ID. So I'll just uh, give that a heading as program, and you'll see why uh, in a little bit when I'm using uh, Postman on their runner, why these need to match up. Uh, here, this is going to be the value, or I'm sorry, the um, type and this is the value, this is the name. Okay, so now we can you know, imagine that we can give this uh, sheet uh, to someone that we're working with, someone on the, on the marketing team that would fill this out. So again, normally how this would work is uh, they fill it out, but then you have to copy and paste all of these in, but now that's not the case. So uh, we're gonna switch hats for a second and pretend that we're um, the the whichever team is inputting these values for this specific program so we're going to change uh green bay to milwaukee uh register now that's fine almost gone gone is fine but then uh, we're going to change the call to action for email three to don't miss out um here we're going to change this to the 22nd so we're going to change that to the 22nd. Here are the max attendees. We're going to crank this up to 500. Uh, June, that's still good. Um, RSVP, uh, we're going to change that now to June 7th. Um, I can still be uh, speaker one. Uh, I'm going to change my title though to video maker since this is on YouTube. Um, we'll change this to John Doe. I'm going to leave these these values here for the images just for now. And John is a CFO. We're still in Wisconsin. Main event, um, we'll, we'll call this now main event uh, MKE for Milwaukee. Email venue is now the Pfizer Forum. And the year is 2023. So all of these updates are... I'm all set to go. So now I'm just going to export this. So download as CSV. 
So we'll see that is um, right there. And now we're going to come back up here and we're going to do the create uh, token. So we do need to have a few things in place though. So if you recall, I said how these have to line up. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to change this variable here to program because that will contain the program ID. The folder type is still program, so that's good. Uh, name, we're going to, I believe, I'm going to double check, double check this, but I'm pretty sure that that's also name. Yep, type and value. Okay, so then and type is going to be type and value is going to be value and you can ignore the warnings right now because it's going to say that these aren't um, they're unresolved variables but we're going to do that when we actually run it through so that's why uh, making sure that the variables are named like this is very important so when we run this through the runner um, it's going to look for each row what the program name type and value is so that's looking good let's save this and now Come back up to Marketo and click Run. We're going to deselect all. Uh, no, I just need to find where the tokens are, the Create Token Endpoint. We're just going to run that. We're going to uh, get that file that we just uh, down that CSV that we just downloaded from Sheets. Uh, we're going to change this delay to 250 even though we only have 20 rows we won't run into an issue still doing that just to make sure we don't uh, hit marketo's limits and i'm just going to click run and now i will come over to uh, marketo and we can see that now we have milwaukee don't miss out. The dates have been updated and everything here, although venue is not updated, uh, which is odd. So let's take a look at what was happening here. Uh, and maybe, maybe it's still running. Let me double check that. I may have just refreshed it before it actually updated that last variable. So let me check again. There we go. So that's all it was, I was going to say, because everything else did update perfectly fine. So sometimes you just have to give it a second, I guess. But uh, again, hopefully this can save you a lot of time because, again, I know a lot of teams, you're just basically copying and pasting. So why do that when we have something like Postman that can do it uh, even better? So hope this helps. Reach out if you got questions. Thanks.